Okay, so I'm about to post this video for social media. And I'm going to put you in the tripod. These little things are handy. You get them off of those, uh, remember those little Japanese, uh, or I'd say Japanese, but you know those tourist little uh, sticks, selfie sticks? Yeah, these come with those, and they're actually fantastic if you're using your camera. But anyway, so let me post you up here real quick, and I'm going to show you what my EDC is, or my bug out gear is, for the up and coming hurricane. So, oh crap. These also help. So let me... Perfect. Okay. And there we go. And... All right, so this is my everyday carry bag, but it's also going to be my bug out bag in the event of a hurricane. And we need to evac. I don't know how we would evacuate. We live in the middle of the jungle, so the chances of us evacuating is low. We'd have to hunker down wherever we are, maybe bug out to somewhere safer. I don't know where that would be. Probably um, the big church in the middle of this neighborhood or the community association. But those places are very unlikely, in my opinion. They're just not very well protected and, you know, hunkering down here in the shower is probably the safest place to be. Anyway, so this is my Maxpedition Monsoon Gear Slinger. I think this is the S model where the uh, single strap goes along the, uh, the right shoulder instead of the left shoulder. I don't exactly remember. Um, it might very well be that model. But uh, as you can see, there's some heavy modification to this. Um, I've got extra pouches here, here, and here on the side. Another Maxpedition pouch. A mag pouch that carries a flashlight. This uh, runs on a single 18650. It's pretty bright. But uh, that's cool because 18650s uh, you can find lying around sometimes. Um, or you can take apart a laptop battery um, if you happen to find one of those. But it's just, it's nice to have a flashlight like that. I also have another flashlight back here. This is a Thor Fire. By the way, I think this is a, what name is this? This is a Xeno. A Xeno S3A uh, version 2. I got this uh, back at uh, Blade HQ um, several years back during their grand, grand opening, and I love that thing. I did burn out a setting though using the wrong batteries once. Um, the, the low mode. Um, I also got this. This is a Thor Fire TK05. This runs on AA batteries. It's got some bright, light, medium, low, medium. Okay. But anyway, basically it's uh, another flashlight. uses double A's. Those are also nice to be able to utilize. I've got a couple extra EDC items in here. Some things I need to take out. Schmog. That's good if you're going to go beach or something like that. You can uh, dry off. Hammock, good for the beach. Maybe for bugging out too. Uh, let's see. So I've got some other items here. Side. I've got a Baco Laplander saw. It's well worn, well used. Um, you know, maybe it's the best. It's not exactly the best uh, saw in the world, but it works, and it's always got a spot in my bag. I've got a rain jacket. This I haven't used so much since uh, I got shipwrecked last year, but uh, little monocular sometimes comes in handy. When you need it, you need it, just to see a little bit farther than your eyes can normally see. Plastic bags, always good to have if you live on an island. Sometimes it rains so hard that uh, delicate electronic devices or whatever, even just food, you might want to throw it in a plastic bag, so that's good to have. Bring that back in there. This main pouch up here at the top, or this accessory pouch. Wind's already picking up. Sewing kit, use this uh, quite frequently, and it actually has another one that goes with it. Um, I just, I repair my stuff, and sometimes you make modifications. Um, you need to uh, add something here or there, and uh, this really helps. And I'll show you out the front on the strap system what I mean by that. Whistle, always uh, smart to have, and they're so light. Seriously, why don't you carry this in your uh, EDC pack? 
um, when you need it, you're gonna you're gonna wish you had it. This is a little unusual, it's just in a little pack here. But what it is is it's a uh, water heater. It um, you basically put this in just like uh, how your coffee maker works at home. You plug this into a 12 volt, and it will boil your water if you let it. Um, so that's really handy potentially for bugging out, but just in general, if I'm uh, working around in a neighborhood or whatever and I really don't have anything, uh, I don't prepare well or something with a sandwich, I can always uh, potentially boil some water and make something like ramen or as you're about to see, rice um, is always in my pack. Let's see. Where is it? So, jacket and this is an old sock. It's clean, but uh, basically what it's got is it's got uh, about a pound and a half of rice in there. Uh, pff, honestly, <laughs> the likelihood of you needing this is uh, low for everybody, but um, for me, what with the hurricane last month, the month before that was the volcano, um, used to live on a sailboat before that, and there were some times where we'd paddle out and it got a little iffy, and I was like, man, shit, what happens, sorry, pardon my language, but what happens if you um, are swept away while you're trying to get out to the boat? You might be stuck in a little kayak for a while. It's a pound and a half, and it, this is like enough to keep a normal person or two people going for a couple days of, you know, a couple extra days, which could be what you need. So anyway, food, very shelf-stable food in your backpack. I should really have some energy bars too, but I think I ate them all because I'm out and about. I also have at least one extra battery. This is a AA, so that's for the uh, Thor Fire, which I think has better battery life um, in low mode than the other. And this paper just kind of helps it from shaking around. You could also use that as tinder, I guess, but uh, it's relatively waterproof, resistant, whatever. It's just something I made up. It's uh, two ends of uh, soda bottle caps that have been JB welded together. It's uh, quick and easy and didn't cost me any money. Extra candle. Never used it, by the way, but uh, I have actually used it as a waterproofing by rubbing it into some fabric in the past. Measuring tape. And how else are you going to eat the food except with your hands or a titanium spork? This one has a long handle, so if I ever do get water to boil, making some coffee or something like that. This can give you a little bit more mixing, but uh, it's just nice. And uh, believe it or not, I, I used to have a uh, one of the smaller ones that has the uh, the spoon on one side and the fork on the other. This I just like better. Um, it's less to clean. It's a little more ergonomic and it gives you a little bit more reach room. Um, you could also potentially put this into a pot or something as opposed to the smaller one, which if it's steaming really uh, heavily, uh, it can be a little uncomfortable. It might burn your hand in the steam or whatnot. But anyway, I've used this for lunch and stuff like that most of the time, and I just clean it off. It's titanium, doesn't rust, don't worry about it. Uh, let's see, what else? So that's one pouch, another pouch here. I've got one Kyle Loom. Um, I really don't use these. I think this is a white one because it produces more light. But uh, in the event that I was in something, some bad situation like a cave or... I don't know. Like, if something was happening where you needed long-term light, you really didn't want to use your batteries, or say you've already gone through your batteries, this is 12 hours of light that you might not want to put out with your flashlights because you've only got so many batteries, etc., etc. But uh, these go bad every couple years, so if I don't use them for serious stuff, usually around New Year's, I tend to just use them up, give them to the little kids and stuff, um, and uh, buy some new ones because they're, they're fairly cheap. Another plastic bag just in case I need some waterproofing or whatnot. Some uh, drinks mixes in case I wanted to boil some water or whatever. Got some green tea matcha. I've got some uh, energy crystal light stuff. I've got jasmine tea. I think I've got a chocolate milk in here somewhere too. But that's just uh, everyday stuff. I mean, this is an everyday carry system, so that's what this is about. Like I said, rain jacket. Really important. This is a really lightweight. Uh, I don't even know what brand this is. It doesn't really matter. This is a Paradox brand. Can you focus? Focus. I'd use my hand, but there we go. Paradox brand. I bought this, I mean, I think 
my girlfriend bought this for me at Costco or something like that. But it's great because it's lightweight and what it, it does what it's supposed to do. It basically just keeps the water off of you. Um, it's not perfect because after a while it's so water resistant, so lightweight, it basically tends to, um, when you sweat or whatever, it tends to get you wet anyway. But in terms of just being able to jump out of a car, running into a house or whatever, um, this is good. Also, uh, when we were dealing with the volcano threat, the possibility of ash and stuff. This will keep the ash off you, especially if it rains. It'll at least keep some of it off. And um, yeah, basically that's what that's for. And it's just really nice that I can fit this in my backpack without it taking up a whole heck of a lot of space. And I'll put that together nicer in a little bit. Uh, secret pocket back here. I already told you about the saw. Extra pair of socks. I keep that back there also because it helps to pad whatever. I might put something that's a little um, uncomfortable if this is right against your back and then another waterproof bag this one I've actually used a couple times on the boat haven't used it recently because it's good for submerging stuff too as you can see there's still salt on there Look at that salt and lint okay so I think that's it for this main stuff I've got extra room that's the other thing is your EDC bag shouldn't always be full of just stuff if it's always full of stuff when you think about something you might need and you don't have room for it, honestly, that's just probably the worst possible situation for an EDC bag. Now, the Maxpedition line, especially this monsoon, is not a very big bag. I think it's 1,300 liters or so. 1,300 liters, that's a lot of liters. Uh, milliliters? Uh, shoot, I don't even know. Basically, it's not the biggest bag out there. Um, if you were to look at my hand, I've got kind of small hands too. It's not a huge bag. I've got this attachment system right here. It's basically just two pieces of paracord looped around just so you can throw in a bed roll or whatever. This is actually a, this is a uh, Russian um, posh, plush palatka pan, uh, la, la, la. plush, plush palatka, plush palatka, uh, raincoat it's basically a cloak but what it is also it's also a tent um, I've started carrying this around um, especially when the volcano started because you know what it does work and I've used it in the rain quite a few times covers your whole body um, from the top down if you uh, think about it as like just a, a cloak like in Lord of the Rings or whatever it keeps you dry as you're walking or doing whatever kind of long distance traveling because um, I do walk a lot for my job and work, my work um, to and from my job and my house, that kind of thing. And this thing really does freaking work. It's so simple. It's a piece of canvas. You can waterproof it more or whatever. But honestly, just it's that shape of like a cloak or a cape around the human body that when it rains, even if it's pouring, it literally, it's like water off a duck's back. It just drips along the outside. You really don't get a whole heck of all that wet on the inside. But in a pinch, you can also, because it's basically just a canvas tarp, you can use this as a tent. So during the volcanic scare that we had, or are still having, kind of undergoing, slightly past tense, uh, I was worried that I might not have a home to go home to uh, at the end of the day. So I carried this to work with me just as a little bit of mental insurance. Ah, uh, what else? I've got this little thing here. It's not really anything important. It's just a piece of uh, abalone, like a pendant. It's actually not even a single piece of abalone. It's pretty cheap. It's been piecemealed back together, probably made in China or something, but it really doesn't matter. I just realized that, you know, my bag looked pretty tactical and it is tactical, <laughs> but I just felt like it needed something nice on it, you know, something kind of shiny and colorful and it just stands out a little more. I mean, we take ourselves so seriously online most of the time that this is just a little bit of embellishment. It really doesn't hurt, honestly. You're not likely to be hiding from people in the jungle, and you don't need to be camouflaged up or whatever. I got this color because I like the color. Um, and, uh, you know, whatever. I mean, maybe someone will want that. I, I'll trade it for a candy bar if I need to. I don't. It doesn't really matter. It's just a little charm. And uh, so there. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> Water bottle on the side. This is a uh, Nalgene brand, full stainless steel. I think it's 32 ounces water bottle. It's got an FRN or a fiberglass reinforced plastic lid, so it's a solid lid. Um, 
I take this thing off just because uh, if I'm going to boil water in it, I take it all off. But also I found that when I'm drinking this darn thing, if I've got this flopping around in there, especially if you're driving a car or something like that and you need to take a sip and you open this up, the top just kind of flails around. Sometimes it's getting in your field of view or, you know, smacking you in the face or bouncing around or whatever. It's just easier, just for me anyway, to keep it separate for now. But uh, that could change depending on the situation. So that's that pocket. This side, there's some of my modifications I was telling you with the sewing kit. I'll show you that in a sec. Got an extra carabiner. This is a rated carabiner. It's got a lock on it. And basically I just weave that through. There's a little bit of uh, orange high visibility duct tape. But of course I keep that under there. Just, I mean, I was telling you earlier I don't care about being camo, but at the same time I don't like looking like a clown. So I. I tend to just keep that back there if I ever really need it. I've got a little bit of duct tape. I've got a rated carabiner in aluminum that I keep oiled because of the salt sometimes affects aluminum. Um, and it's basically tucked behind this, which is a cell phone pouch. I've used it a couple times for cell phones. Usually that's where my keys go, which uh, I've got a extra lighter. My girlfriend got me this silly little fidget spinner thing, but she says it's got a bottle opener. So I guess that means I'm supposed to like it, whatever, it's a gift. So usually I just throw this in there, a little bit of extra duct tape. Honestly, it's just, <laughs> you know, you forget you even have it, but then if you ever need it, you're like, where's that duct tape? And you find it and you're like, thank God I've got duct tape because I've repaired pressure tanks sometimes, you got water bottles, you just, it's just ubiquitous stuff. Have some duct tape on you. Um, this is a modification to the strap system. Oh, actually, let me finish on this side. So, finally, on this side, I did add a Max Edition expansion pocket. Um, I forget the name of these. Are they Rolly Pulleys? Rolly Pulleys, yeah. This is the regular size. They've got a huge large size, and they've got a mini size. Actually, I love this thing so much. It's super handy, especially while I'm at work. Sometimes you can collect fresh fruits and vegetables because... It just grows all over the place out here. And um, having something that's big, that expands the pockets. I mean, you can get three or four avocados and depending on the day, you throw three or four avocados in here and the whole thing is, is filled up. And then you're like, man, I wish I had some space for these guavas. Well, now you've got an extra pocket you can fill up. Adds, you know, potentially a couple avocados to your packability. Um, nothing really in this pocket right now. I used to carry my flare gun in here, especially when I was on the boat. Um, it's good for self-defense. I do have, well, flare gun good for self-defense. In Hawaii, you can't legally carry a gun on your person for self-defense. In fact, I don't know if you're allowed to defend yourself. If someone breaks into your house, you're supposed to like flee or something like that, which is ridiculous. Um, but uh, in any case, I've got off my soapbox here. Um, I've got a pair of gloves because you never know. There might be blood, there might be some reason you might need to keep your hands off of things. I haven't used them, for the record. Uh, so, strap system. Oh, there's one more pocket here. There's nothing really in there. Got some foam in there just for my back, but I could also, I guess, make improvised knee pads if I really needed to. So that's it for my gear. In terms of the bag itself, I have modified it a bit. As you can see, it's really worn. I'm thinking about maybe adding some um, of that uh, rubberized spray compound. I think the Flex Seal, that product, I might want to uh, take some of these pieces off and repurpose that. But honestly, I don't really notice that much. It's just a little unsightly. Um, shows the wear. But what I did was, is when you're wearing this bag, especially if you're like riding a bike or something like that, this pack really sucks when you're wearing it. And I'll actually show this to you because it's it's kind of important. This is something that if Maxpedition wants to make or upgrade their bags, this is something they should really do. So when you got this thing on for everyday carry, it's great, you you know, if you're especially mobile, if you're in a dynamic environment going from place to place, um, 
you have to get on a bus, you have to get on a train. I don't care. I don't really know. We don't have trains here in Hawaii. But you get the picture. If you're going into different things, you're getting in and out of cars, this is nice because you can just not take the bag off, sit down, you know, um, or access stuff from right here uh, on the shoulder. But when you're out, say, riding a bike especially, I've noticed that even if you've got the side strap right here, which I've modified with some of these uh, hair ties here. I really use this gear, guys. I think I've had this backpack for like seven years now or something stupid like that. But um, even like this, you tend to have the weight of the bag pull to the left. When you're riding a bike, that gets in the way. It's a problem. So, I, I, okay, i got to figure this out. I took this strap off of a pair of uh, pants my girlfriend got me again from like Costco. And um, they come with this stupid little belt buckle already installed. And I don't like those things. Uh, I've got my own good belt. Um, I don't want to deal with another belt. It's just annoying. So I tend to take them all off. I took one of those straps from that system and sewed it on here and back here. And what that basically allows me to do is clip it on here, tighten it down, take up the slack, whatnot. And now it's not going to move. Like it just will not even turn this way because of that extra strap. So that's one of the biggest modifications I will recommend to any Maxpedition gear slinger owner, at least for the monsoon version. Love this thing. Really do. I've had it for years. If I really hated it, I would get rid of it. In fact, there was at one point when we were living on the boat. For those of you who don't know, I lived on a sailboat for about two years before we got shipwrecked. Um, I didn't start using this bag. I used a waterproof bag, one of those really fancy uh, rubberized ones that goes all the way around. And um, long story short, those things are great for hauling stuff in, you know, to and from the boat and whatnot um, for about two months. I'm not even kidding. Like two, maybe three months of hard use. If you're just using it, you know, you're 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 a fisherman maybe, because um, you're taking your fish, your whole boat in and out of the water. But if you're traveling from shore to your boat or your home or whatever, um, and it's constantly being used, that plastic, that rubber material, just it, it. I just actually, this is a good example. I just sat on. A random screw that um, happened to fall from my desk onto my chair just now and just a simple little thing like this a pin prick and that whole bag where you're expecting it to be waterproof just fails miserably so and toward the end there I actually just started using this and because I knew it wasn't waterproof um, I prepared by having those extra bags that water bag and whatnot I can put something that needs to be dry food, electronics, etc. in the bag, or in the water bag, roll it up, seal it up, throw it in this bag, which is super durable and resistant to like pin pricks and whatnot. And if there is any pin pricks, it'll damage this and it won't damage the bag, which means that that stays dry. Um, this outside is durable enough where if it gets sprayed with salt water, you just take everything out, spray it down with fresh water and takes the salt out of it. It's fine. Uh, it's just, this thing is, this is good. This, this works. This has been working. Um, I have my eye on a couple other bags. I just don't have the money for it. There, there's plenty of fun stuff out there. But for everyday use, my EDC, when it comes to a bag, and potentially a bug out bag, this bag, as it sits, works great. Now, I will show you a couple other items as well. I do carry a multi-tool. Leatherman Wave in my back pocket. It's got a pocket clip on it now. I used to carry it in a sheath, but uh, the pocket clip's actually been working out good for me. Um, I carry this around every day, no matter what, because I use it at least every other day, sometimes more than that. But it's got pliers at work. It's stainless, relatively good. Um, this isn't the one I had on the boat. That one got broken. Sent it in, and they just replaced it. But... Uh, it didn't rust too bad either. It, this is a pretty soft steel overall. But anyway, so I got that. I've also got on my person dang, charging cord for your phone or whatever. 
I mean, it's just, these are ubiquitous too. You at micro USB, I don't care for iPhones or anything like that really. I've got a Samsung, that's why I'm shooting this on right now. Um, we've got a lighter. This is actually uh, a refillable, disposable lighter, so that's kind of a plus. Uh, I do have, this is new, and I love this. This is a, oh, come on. Come on. Focus. This is a, a little mini fountain pen. I used to own one that was made by Charade, and it was this really awesome tactical fountain pen. Um, and I just loved writing with it. I used to write more because I wanted to just use my pen. Same thing. Um, I was looking for a fountain pen for a long time, and I found this at Ben Franklin's. It was like $2.99. It's a Japanese kind of... It had Japanese packaging and stuff like that. Uh, Petite One by Pilot. Uh, it does use disposable cartridges. Um, and I did get a couple more of those. Uh, but I got to say, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this so far. Uh, it's just it's so cheap that... And in small, I could just throw this in with the other items. And then uh, some lock pick kits in my right cargo pocket. I, I've actually used these at work um, sometimes because I, I go to different properties and stuff like that. Especially I've had to go to, um, well, I can't really say anyone else I've done this with. But I've been locked out of things that are job specific before, like um, the storage closet at work. <laughs> Which they use a, a master lock and those things, you know, it, it does offer protection, but they're not that great. Um, lock pit, just a simple situation where you've got three lock picks. Um, and I've got a torsion bar that I carry with me as well. Uh, it just works. I mean, it, it, I don't even notice that I have it, especially with this little case I made out of duct tape. Um, I just keep that in my pocket every day if I can. And, uh, and then when... I'm doing something and I realize I'm locked out. I, you know, especially if it's, uh, you know, need to mow a friend's lawn or something like that. I'm like, hey, dude, you forgot to give me the key. <laughs> He's like, oh, wait, I'll, I'll be up there. It'll be 30 minutes. I'm like, oh, I don't want to wait 30 minutes for you. Just, and I text him, like, can I just pick the lock? And then, you know, five minutes go by. And I'm like, yeah, go ahead. Great idea. <laughs> I just go unlock pick the stupid little master lock with the owner's permission. And I get in there anyway and I mow the lawn. Or whatever you know um, put stuff away if you don't have the key you know and then lock it back up when you're done it, it's it's all about your um, your character if you've got good character you know there's no reason not to learn as many skills as you possibly can so uh, I carry this guy as well which is my definitely my favorite flashlight of all time thus far I've had some reliability issues this is a manker EO2 I got it on the reverse clip because if I got my hat or whatever, I can clip it on on the side like this, and it basically will shine forward, basically clipping it from the bottom of your hat. Um, it's got a magnet there, so you can, you know, say if this is the side of a car or vehicle or something like that right here, you can just clip it on, angle your light, whatever. And it uses only a single AAA battery which is fantastic. Like I said, I've had some reliability issues. Um, I think it was just had to do with the connection of the battery with um, the rest of the device. There's a little plastic insert that goes around the battery on the inside here and uh, keeps it from shaking, but I think it gets in the way sometimes. But anyway, it's, uh, it's a good light. It's not super bright, but I don't even, like I said, I carry this every day. It doesn't bother me. Watch, rings. A little bit more paracord and that's about it that's my ADC a little long-winded hopefully I don't need to use this as a bug out bag this hurricane is on its way and I hope if you're watching this you're all safe you're having a great day thanks for watching see forged <laughs>